Hello, this is Jacqueline from Jack Knits, and this is my new favorite stitch. It is called the Brioche Rib Stitch. And you can tell just by looking at it how squishy and plush and thick it is. If you are looking to get into brioche knitting, this is a very easy first stitch to learn. It's only a run row repeat. It doesn't require any fancy stitches and it knits up really fast. And you can just tell that it just produces this beautiful fabric. So my mind is already spinning on all the wonderful things I could make with this beautiful stitch. So let's learn how to do this together. Hello, welcome to Jack Knits, and this is the Brioche Rib Stitch. The reason I love this stitch so much is because of the plushness and squishiness, if those are words, to this fabric. You can tell how thick and dense this is. Well, it's not dense, it's just it's just thick and, and squishy, um, and it just lays so beautiful. And that's what makes brioche knitting so fun to do. And this is a very easy stitch to do. Some brioche stitches require some fancy stitches, but not this one. This is any beginner uh, knitter can learn to do this stitch. One other thing that I love about this stitch is that it's completely reversible. So the back side and the front side look completely the same. It will make a great scarf or baby blanket where you can always see both sides of the fabric. So without further ado, let's learn how to do this great stitch. And I'm gonna uh, show you how to do it with this bulky weight yarn that I have with a size 11 needle, which is a pretty uh, thick needle, which creates this really bulky fabric. If you want to see once what it looks like with a smaller needle, I did a little swatch with just worsted weight yarn and a size 7 needle, and you can see the difference obviously, um, but it still knits up really beautiful, still has that thick plushy feel to it. So this is also um, a great option if you want to practice with a lighter weight yarn, but let's take a look at with this bulkier yarn and thicker needle. Okay, so to start uh, working with this brioche rib stitch, we're going to cast on an even number of stitches. I've chosen to cast on 12 stitches here, and what we're also going to do is the very first and last stitch of every row we're going to create a salvaged edge so it has a kind of a neat um, smooth edge to it so that's going to be our salvaged edged so for every row the setup row and the rest of the rows are all going to begin and end with a knit stitch so the very first row to do is really basically a setup row you're not going to repeat the setup row again just for the very first row so let's do that first the setup row will begin with the first knit stitch, the salvage stitch. So let's knit that first stitch first. Then the first step in the this repeat for the setup row is a yarn over. So we're going to put our yarn over our needle like this. Then we're going to, with the yarn in back, whoops, yarn over, with the yarn in back, we're going to slip stitch this stitch off of this needle as if to purl. So we're not twisting the stitch, we're just sliding it from one needle to the next after that yarn over. So we had a yarn over, slip stitch, and then the next is a regular basic knit stitch. And that's the repeat that we're gonna do for the rest of the row. A yarn over with a yarn in back, slip stitch the next one, and then a knit stitch. Yarn over, slip, knit. Yarn over, slip, knit. Yarn over, slip, and knit. And with every row, we're going to knit the last row as well, or the last stitch as well. Okay, so now if you see, it looks like we just added a bunch more stitches onto the needle, right? It looks like there's a lot more than 12 stitches here. And we kind of did. We added some yarn overs here across the stitches. But what we're going to do, if you look at your stitches carefully, we have single stitches and then we have like these paired stitches that are kind of crisscrossed together and a single stitch and a paired stitch. And from now on, going forward with this stitch pattern, we're going to treat these double wrapped stitches as one stitch. So we're always going to knit those two together, those two strands. 
So even though it looks like we put on more stitches on our needle, since we're treating this stitch as one, these two yarns together, we really have the same number of stitches on it. So don't let that mess you up. Okay, so the first row of our repeat, or actually there's only one row repeat, so it's the same row that we're gonna do every single time. So let's look at this repeat row. We're gonna start again with that one knit stitch, which is gonna be our salvaged edged. And then when you run across a single stitch, so here's a single stitch, here's our double stitch here, paired stitching. This single stitch, we're going to use a yarn over first, and with the yarn in back, slip stitch this so exactly the same way we did with our setup row. Yarn over and slip the stitch. Then we come to this paired stitching where the yarn over and stitch are kind of paired together. So we're going to treat that as one stitch and knit those two strands of yarn together. And that's our repeat. So a yarn over, slip stitch, and knit those two strands together. Yarn over, slip stitch, and knit those two strands together. And we'll do that to the end of the row. So it's a very quick repeat. Yarn over, slip stitch, knit those two strands together. And we will end on the knit stitch. Okay, so that is our repeat row. The next row we're gonna do exactly the same. So let's start our second row, which is the same as the first regular row. We had the setup row, that repeat row, and now let's do that row again. So knit one as our salvaged edged, and here's our single stitch. So we're going to yarn over and slip the stitch and then knit those paired stitches together. Yarn over, slip that stitch, and knit those paired stitches together. And that is really it, guys. It's such an easy repeat. You can tell that you could just do this in your sleep after a while. It's just very easy to do. You can watch TV while you do this and not get mixed up or forget which row you're on. It is as simple as that, that yarn over, slip, and knit together and just end and start with that one knit stitch. And that is how to do the brioche rib stitch. Now you'll see it looks kind of messy and you're gonna wonder, wow, am I doing this right? I do not see any ribbing going on here. It looks really kind of messy. It takes a few rows for this stitch pattern to kind of reveal itself, but before long, it will create this beautiful beautiful pattern. So just hang in there for a few rows and it will really start to reveal itself. So I hope you found this helpful guys. If so, please like, don't forget to subscribe and you'll receive notifications of new vi videos each week all about knitting tips and stitches like this beautiful brioche rib stitch and creative patterns. I would also love to hear what beautiful things you decided to make with this. So comment below on how you use this beautiful brioche rib stitch in your knitting. Thanks for watching. Happy knitting.